I just want to talk to you about the second seal. Um, it says when the second seal is opened, um, the second beast says, come and see. And there came out a rider on a red horse. Uh, and he was given a great sword and he took peace away from the earth so that they may, st they may start killing one another. Now, obviously, this the symbolism behind red is danger, also means war. Um, and this rider on a horse has a sword and they may start killing one another. So obviously this is talking about a war outbreak. Now, we only have the third world war left to go. The Satanists had a plan for world war. It was done by Albert Pike. He made a plan for World War One, Two, II, and Three. One, they pulled off just as planned. Two, they pulled off just as planned and created a state of Israel. And three is yet to come. But when you read the plan, you'll see the day and age that we're living in. I mean, from 9/11 onwards, you can see that that plan is starting to come full circle. But to understand, you've got to understand who the Satanists are, because there's a lot of people bewildered on who the actual enemy is. Now, the enemy was, is within the Roman Empire, it's within NATO, um, it's within from the Vatican, the, the royal, the British royal empire, the uh, royal commonwealth, if you like. Them sort of people are the Satanists. And the description of World War III... Um, kind of goes a bit like this it says that the the war must be fomented by the agents of the Illuminati who are the agents of the Illuminati like I said um, well I suppose the main guy heading up at the moment you know is Obama agents of the Illuminati popes royal family and then you've got the lower ones like um, let's say John Kerry uh, McCain uh, Merkel from Germany, the French Prime Minister, basically the European, basically the world leaders of all the world countries that are part of NATO, except for Russia, China, North Korea and Iran and what's left of Syria, um, them countries are not part of this um, satanic new world order which seek to control the world and all these leaders are all part of it and they all know the plan they all know the purpose and they all now expect this um, World War three so it's going to be format it's going to be created created by the um, agents of the Illuminati and they're going to take um, advantage of the differences between the state of Israel and the leaders of the Muslim world it says and they're going to release war between Israel and the Muslims so here's one main point this war will start in in or around Israel because Israel is just one state you know it's not spread out all over the earth the Jews have co are coming back and they've created a state so one thing's for sure this war is going to start in Israel or around Israel and um, we've had whistleblowers come out with that information saying that they want to use one of their weapons on Israel to start World War 3 and from a biblical point of view uh, I see that happening um, and it says that the state of Israel and the Muslim neighbors let's say will start destroying one another so there'll be a war in the Middle East in and around Israel and the surrounding countries but Here's another part of it where, and you'll understand now why the refugee crisis is happening. Because their plan is to spread this conflict, let's say, of interest or this conflict between Muslims and Jews. They want to spread it through all the nations. And now you can see why this refugee crisis is happening, why they're letting in a lot of Muslims into other countries. It's not a case of it's just happened. You know, for all these years, they've managed to hold off refugee you know a, a wash of um, refugee people coming in but now it's just like oh we've got a big crisis of refugees 
no one can stop it and you know it's all it's all planned let me say because put it this way if you were to start a war between Muslims and Israel but you were to contain all the Muslims in the Middle East where they came where they came from basically we've invaded their countries spread misery and scattered them but let's say that the Muslims were contained into the area of Israel then that war would only spread into the vicinity of their Muslims hence their plan would fail because their plan is to spread it into all the nations so spread it to America Europe Britain uh, Australia even you know all these different places that's what they want they want to create a massive civil unrest in their own countries this is what the people are like they don't care about countries people flags or anything they care about the purpose and their purpose is um, all nations will be divided in this um, in this conflict and they'll fight against each other a civil war within their own countries within all the nations America Europe they'll fight amongst each other because they're divided in the beliefs Jews Muslims Christians whatever and they'll fight till they're economically you know exhausted financially exhausted politically you know governments are overthrown and you know funny enough that's where you see this Muslim mayor come in they put him in there if it's a green light they put a Muslim mayor in there because they want to overthrow their own government trust me this is what the people are like they destroy themselves so that they can they actually broaden their kingdom and then they kind of rebuild it and like oh you know let's let's organize things better or you could say a new world order and part of the plan they want to release the people who do not have any beliefs about anything who are not religious to you know I, I suppose you could uh, associate this more with communism so they'll release them it says into a war um, which could mean you know provoking which they already have done and bringing into which they already have done a war the communist type of countries like like Russia China and North Korea bringing them in and it says so that through these through the communists coming into this war as well it will demonstrate the absolute um you know like uh, misery or something of absolute atheism basically atheists just you know going basically atheists going to war on anyone who believe who believes in any sort of god so believe you know there's going to be a they're going to bring them into it uh and it says until you know they create even more destruction basically everything's destroyed and it says they hope i say hope they hope the christians will then now turn away and think oh you know God is not coming back or God's not coming to save us or something along them lines it says that they will lose hope in any sort of deity basically they'll stop believing in Jesus Christ as a saviour or God as a protector of them but like I said I say hope because we know this is coming so if we stay strong um, the scripture is what is it um, those who stay strong until the end um, will be saved so you got to stay strong through all of this but they're planning on people losing the faith and falling away during that time and then it says that they will bring about this Lucifer this um, false peace this false Christ will emerge as a savior and they hope that through all the misery that they've planned Albert Pike planned this before even World War One happened he planned World War One two and three I can get the um, find the details for you up on the screen but they have planned this they have planned I always say they problem action solution they create a problem which in the end times is going to be so much misery and destruction I mean that can be of anything that could be man-made diseases that could mean extinction of wildlife um, you know uh, weather patterns you know they can create all this misery so that everyone is just exhausted and really crying out for savior and then they'll give you the savior but the people who created the problem are the people that are giving you the solution see the freemasons planned these wars and yet they plan it says that everyone will accept the doctrine of lucifer or something like that so basically but in the end days people are going to accept the christ uh, sorry the false christ 
as he comes in as a peace man and everything will stop but the people who made it made the misery happen are the people that are going to give you the savior it's all planned it's all out there but some christians will not accept it and here comes to the last part it says that they will exterminate the christians and the atheists both at the same time now that sounds that sounds a bit strange doesn't it christians and atheists that's like two opposite parties of you know belief system isn't it an atheist doesn't believe in god and christians believe in god and believe um, jesus is a messiah so how would they destroy both of them at the same time my personal view is just this is that an atheist will not worship a god well i just put it straight a, a man god to be worshipped an atheist is not going to worship a man god because apparently you know pure atheists don't believe in god so they won't worship him as a god and real christians who know those whose names are written in the book of life of the lamb they will know this time and this guy is the false one because they know Jesus Christ to be coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Not a man who was born 33 years ago on the earth. He is the false one. And the real Christians will know that this is a false one because he's a man. Jesus Christ will be just coming out of the heavens. And you know Jesus Christ will come at the battle of Armageddon. Yeah. So that's exactly when Jesus will come down is when all the armies are gathered into the um, Valley of Jezreel there, all of the armies, and that's when Jesus will come. But I mean, that's after the bowl judgment and all sorts of things. So, you know, that, that's quite a, quite a way down the, um, down the line of tribulation. But they expect, well, I suppose they expect Christians not to worship this man God. And they expect atheists not to worship this man God, and that's why they're going to exterminate them. I guess there'll be some sort of decree. They've got, what was it, 20 or 40,000 guillotines underground in the US underground cities? You know, the dens in the rocks of the mountains underground. The guillotines, what are they for? It's probably going to be that exactly the, you know, Jesus says it's going to be the worst time that ever, whatever has been. So think of the massacres of the past, and it's going to be worse than them you know and it, it, there will never be a time worse than that ever again worse than this time we're going into there'll never be a worse time than this ever again so it will come down to extermination and decrees and basically uh, you know tyranny basically you know if you don't worship him well it says in the bible that the false prophet the last pope francis will make people worship an image of the beast and anyone who doesn't worship the image of the beast should be killed. A bit like in the day of Daniel, where they wanted Daniel, well, they wanted everyone to bow, and Daniel's friends did not bow to the engraved image, the big statue, and the decree was death, throw into the, uh, throw into a furnace. But you know, God saved them. The fire didn't harm them, and they walked straight back out again. But I mean that that was you know that was in human time. So if you think that was bad, getting thrown into a fire for not bowing down in front of an Im image of you know a false god, you know the the doc the, uh, the scripture says for the end times that um, you know that will happen if you don't worship the image, you just be killed by probably guillotine. I would have thought uh, you know and not denouncing Jesus Christ it says anyone was beheaded for the testimony of Jesus Christ but concerning this third world war now uh, I mentioned Israel so I'll tell you my belief um, on this scripture I 100% sure that it is war outbreak World War 3 breaking out that's 100% 75% that there'll be a single event because the you know if you look back in history there's always been a single event and I imagine that there will be a single event 50% sure that this could be a nuke um, strike on Israel because a lot of the whistleblowers have said that you know their plan is to hit Israel to begin World War 3 and the scripture says he has a great sword now sword obviously violent but a great sword, one great sword to start the war, start everyone killing one, one another. It sounds to me 
that it could be symbolic for one missile, you know, one nuke, maybe. So, you know, to start the war, to take peace from the earth. So I believe that this war will be start, it will be a war, World War Three, and it will be started, and it will be towards Israel, uh, and it will be a, a missile strike, I believe. But, you know, just me speculating now is that I think that the CIA, uh, sorry, ISIS will launch a strike from the way of Syria or Iran around one of them borders that they're infiltrating right now. I think there'll be a strike come from that way and I think it'll hit Israel and I think the Western media which again are owned by, owned, controlled by the agents of the Illuminati. I mean even the, even the broadcasters themselves are liars. I mean, you could, ha you know, you search it, you know, Sandy Hook, fake. They're, they're all, they're all liars. They're all brainwashing people into believing what they want them to believe for the purpose of the end times. Um, and they, uh, the Western, uh, the Western media, I believe, is just going to jump on it, and they're going to say Iran, 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 Iran. And Obama's springed this up now to, yeah, we gave the Iran that deal, so like giving them permission. But it's not giving them permission for Iran to say, oh yeah, thanks for that, we're going to smash Israel. It's Obama brainwashed, well, bra you know, setting up people's mind to expect a strike from Iran. Do you see what I mean? So when they, create, when they do a false flag and blame it on Iran, it'll make more sense because Obama did that deal. It makes more sense. C CNN supposedly... Um, we're showing all these underground bunkers where they had all these uh, intercontinental ballistic missile mounted on trucks and they were showing them off um, as in to say oh you know we're, we've got missiles we're gonna hit we're gonna you know launch them at Israel so, so you see what I mean it's just these little things setting up in your in by the Western media to make you think that Iran's a big big threat to Israel and so when they launch and they say it was Israel everyone will go yeah we thought so your thoughts are because they control your thoughts if that makes sense iran's got no reason to strike israel but anyway after that when it all kicks off i believe nato will come in as a savior for israel but the thing is when they go to war with iran then you've got russia you've got russia then you've got china and north korea and in that and there you have world war three um i've been pastor justin roberts from end of the age bible prophecy thanks for watching god bless you all Please repent of your sins, ask for forgiveness with all your heart and it will be given even one time um, because the end is near. So God bless you all. Great day. Amen. The inside of the game when we started to use new trombones, today they figure that biologicals are much cheaper. Mm -hmm. They're still planning on, the plan is to get a war started in the Middle East. And they're still planning on using a neutron bomb or uh, one of the bombs that they've got developed on Israel. Mm -hmm. And that's to begin uh, World War Three, mm -hmm. which is all on the cards. And it's, it's going to happen. I, yeah. Yeah, they even put a monument up for this whole program mm -hmm. it's called the Georgia Guidestones. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, oh, yeah. Outside yeah. of Atlanta. You right. know, and they've got it all set down there. It's all in eight languages. They want it, they, it, basically, it's fait complete as far as they're concerned. It's just to get the thing going in the Middle East, and it's not going fast enough.